I'm Miss Megan, and I'm so excited about today's story because look what our clue is. It's a sheep. It's so soft and fluffy. Have you ever seen a sheep before? I have. Did God make the sheep? You're right, he did. God is great. Can you say that with me? God is great. Let's say it again. God is great. Let's watch this to learn more about why God is great. Hi Puggles, it's Miss Katie, and we are doing lesson 2.6 today, which is God is good. Okay, and our big truth number two, remember, is God is great. And our big verse number two is great is the Lord and most worthy of praise, Psalm 48, one. Okay, do you guys see my picture? It says right here, God is good. And what is that in the picture? Do you see that? Can you see? It's a little lamb, a fuzzy, soft little lamb. Yeah. Well, his owner has been good to him. The sheep can rest. See, he's resting, he's going to sleep. The sheep can rest because the owner is good and takes care of him just like God is good to us, his people, because he cares for us. Today, we are learning that God is good. It's who he is. And I have a story today from the Bible, and it comes from 1 Samuel, the book of 1 Samuel in your Bible, chapter 16, verses 11 through 12. And the story says that God's people were living in the promised land, but they wanted a king like all the other people around them. They didn't want our good God to be their king. They wanted someone else. The first king they had didn't love or obey or obey God. He wasn't a good king. God wanted to choose a king who was good and would help the people love and obey God. And guess what? God chose David because he had watched David love and care for the sheep and the little lambs. David was a good king. God was getting his people ready for an even greater king, Jesus, who would love and care for us. Okay, I have a little activity for us to do. You can just watch me, <clears throat> or if you'd like, you can ask your parents to help you find a green piece of paper and a cotton ball, okay? But don't worry, you can just watch me. So this green paper is going to be our grass. And this cotton ball is fluffy and soft, just like the sheep in our story, okay? So, now let's imagine that this is the sheep and how would you take care of your soft little sheep? How would you take care of it? Hmm? Well, first, you need to keep it safe from all the wild animals because unfortunately, big animals like to take sheep from their flock. You would need shelter to shelter it from a storm and also from the hot, hot sun. You need shelter for shade. It would also need grass to eat. You need good grass. So this paper is our grass. Now, you can move it around and you can move it around and it can eat on the yummy grass. Maybe take a nap over here. Say good night, little sheep, take a nap. You would also need to feed it with some pretend food and some water over here. You could draw some water. And you go eat, drink some water, little sheep. Mmm. And you would need to make some shelter for it to stay nice and dry from a storm, okay? Did you take good care of your sheep? I was trying to. Did you see me taking care of my sheep? I tried to be good to it, and I know you tried to be good to your sheep too. Well, our God is so good, you guys, and he is the very best at taking care of us. We can see God's goodness in how he takes care of us and how he provides for us, okay? All right, I have some questions to ask you from our story, so get your thinking caps on. Question number one is, who did God pick to be the king of his people? Who did God pick to be king? Do you remember his name? Well, 
His name was David. He chose David to be king. He was a shepherd before he became a king and he took care of his sheep. Just like he took care of his sheep, God knew he would take care of his people because he learned to love and care for those sheep and that he would love and care for God's people. Okay, question number two. Does God take care of us? Does God take care of us? Hmm, think about it. Yes, we know God takes good care of us because he loves us. Just like a good shepherd takes care of his sheep, God takes care of us. Okay, let's pray together and end our lesson. Okay, close your eyes and bow your head. Thank you, God, for being so good. Thank you, God, for the way you love for us and take care of us. Thank you for these puggles who are here with me today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thanks for being with me today. Goodbye, puggles. I'll see you next time. God takes care of his people, just like a shepherd takes care of his sheep. And God gave his people a king who would take care of them. His name was David. And like we learned in our story, David was a shepherd and he knew how to take care of his sheep so he could take care of God's people. God is so good to his people. Let's sing our verse together because it talks about how great our God is. Hi Puggles, let's learn our big verse two together. Let's stand up and sing. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Psalm 48 verse 1 Psalm 48 verse 1 says, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Thanks for joining me, Puggles. Bye.